Thank you for joining us for another PhoneSavvy.com application review. Today we'll be reviewing Moon Plus. The application looks like this on your Android device. It's available in the Play Store of all Android smartphones. Make sure you download it. It is a very popular ebook reader application. It's uh, extremely customizable and the interface on it is extremely smooth and user friendly. I'm going to do a demonstration on this application. Uh, plus it gives you access to thousands of free books online that you can download to your device and read at your leisure. So let me take you from start to finish on this application so you see how it works and how simple it is. When you bring up the application you'll see some of your books up top here. You can also visit your shelf and it'll show your books that way. So all you have to do is select the book that you want to read and it will come up. To download new books, just go to the Net Library, and this will show you the different catalogs online that you can search from. They have a bunch of different sites and gateways to find those books. Just go ahead and select the one that you want to browse, and some subcategories will pull up of that catalog. So you just go ahead and select the category that you want to search for. Like if we hit genres, it will give us the different types of books that we can search for. So let's say we select biography, for example. It will go ahead and load uh, the biography books on this catalog, and it's from A to Z. So all you have to do is select the one that you want to download. So let's say we want to read up on Abraham Lincoln. We'll go ahead and select that. And then we can select it again and hit the download button right here, and that will add it to our list of books and then once it's there there's a bunch of options for customizing your reading experience let me take you through those so let's go back to our front screen and pull up a book that we have in our shelf I downloaded 20,000 leagues under the sea so let's go ahead and bring that up and see what kind of experience we're gonna have when we want to read so this is how it looks. You can go ahead and flip the page. I've already done a few customizations on it. And let me show you what you can do. If you go ahead and hit the settings button on your Android device, it'll give you some options down at the bottom. I'm going to start with landscape mode on the left. If I go ahead and select that, it will turn it sideways for me. So then I can read this way. The print will be a little bit bigger. You can also customize the font size and style. Italicize it if you want, add bold, whatever you want to do. I really like this option right here. This is night mode. So if you are next to other people and you don't want to disturb them, all you have to do is select the night mode button and that will dim the screen. It'll make the print white and the background black so you won't be disturbing anybody. And right here is the scroll options. Let's go back to our normal view. Right here you can set it to auto scroll at your reading pace and you can have it scroll by page or lines, whatever you want. So for example, I'm going to have a scroll by line. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And for speed, we'll just leave it as that. Go ahead and hit OK. And as you can see, it's going to automatically scroll by line by itself. So you can speed it up or slow it down to whatever your reading speed is. Let's go ahead and hit back or the menu button will go ahead and cancel the scroll. And then right here we can add bookmarks. So if you get done reading at a certain point, just go ahead and add a bookmark by hitting this option right here. I've already added one and you can go back to that. But you can add multiple book bookmarks. Let's say you want to add a bookmark at a very interesting section of the book that you might want to reread later. Go ahead and add one there. And of course one when you get done re reading. And let's go back to what else we have. If we go here, this will allow us to skip to different chapters and then the settings option. This is where you can really customize your reading experience. Go ahead and select this option in the bottom right corner. They have visual options, control options, miscellaneous, some different themes. If we go to visual options, this is where you can change the font size and color, background color. Here's where you can bold, italicize, add shadows to the print, change the alignment, and the left, right, top, and bottom margins. So you can really find what works best for you. When you're done customizing, hit, hit the back button. It'll automatically change those settings. And under the control options, they have a bunch of control options that you can tweak with. So it's really important to spend some time in here so that you can get the reading experience to what you want it to be. 
and then under miscellaneous a lot of different options you can have dual page mode there are options for swiping keep screen awake full screen mode a lot of them are default on a lot of them are off change from vertical to horizontal scrolling basically anything so like I said it's a fully customizable e-reading experience so make sure you download this application with access th to thousands of books online and completely customizable and that's why it's one of the most popular book reading applications on the Play Store that's Moon Plus make sure you download it and also visit phonesavvy.com to find more great applications like this that you can get on your Android device